Today is one of my favorite days at the job because we're gonna investigate a hit and run and <laughs> I participate a lot in hit and runs so I mean I know I know the job I know what goes on in a hit and run so we will sniff out the guilty one in this episode really quickly and I won't make any mistakes of um, I'm gonna doubt everybody and that's gonna work out for me so I'm gonna be bad cop this episode I'll still do my best <laughs> to, to uh, get the right answers, but I mean, are we gonna rewatch the event? We'll just rewatch the event, and I'll skip to the to the gameplay. Let's see what happened. Boom! But that could be me, actually. <laughs> to be honest, I could be finding, I could be investigating myself. That's a possibility. I mean, I don't know. Uh, we need to leave all routes open. Okay, let's go, boys. Well, what's the time actually? It's been a year. What's he waiting for? Can I have like time off sometimes? I gave his wife a tap. I said, I'll I'll I've like put five people away in the last 24 hours. My wife is so dumb. She stares at orange juice for hours. I don't want to be rude. Okay, bye. Fun talking to you. Oh no, it's day. It's day. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe not. <laughs> Okay, uh, what car do we- we'll- we'll go over undercover this time. I'll take this one. It's nice that, like, I have cars everywhere. Okay, let me show you now that, um, I can't drive pro properly, okay? So- Looks like the DA is gonna press charges. Oh my god. And Rodriguez might do time. We're fine. I'll speak to the DA. She's suffering. My mustache is itchy. I don't know, Cole. She's an easy make and the DA likes- you. Okay, I'll we're- convince him to This- listen. this- Crimes! How you do that? Happen so close to each other as well. Wait, it's Oh, it's in here. This is a this is a road for cars, right? Yes. <laughs> Hello. I was driving downstairs. Uh, checking out the crime scene, uh-huh. That's how real detectives do it. No, that's not my work. That's not my work. Okay, casually smoking is okay. Okay, these are the people I can talk to, right? But let's check for clues first. Cole Phelps, traffic. What have we got? Because a white male named Lester Patterson walked out of the bar and into the street, car hit over there, and he ended up okay. here, dead on impact by the look of it. As a he traffic, the area, the only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar, named Shannon Perry. <laughs> no, it's not a stage name. Twenty-four okay. years old, she left Kansas to follow the yellow brick road. Is that so? We'll take a formal statement later. Right now, we're going to take a look around. Okay. Um. As a traffic officer, I have a lot to do with death, that's for sure. Well, actually, yeah, in traffic, but yeah, I've, I've been doing some straight-up homicides. Okay. Oh, so his head got knocked off, so that means he knocked the teeth out of the driver, right? That's how I would do it, or how I did it. Okay, let's see that I don't miss stuff, because last time I didn't zoom in. And I didn't get the clue that I needed to progress the story. Okay, I don't think I can manipulate it more than this. Yeah, that's all I can do. Okay. Phelps? Yes? I ended on his face and ended up here. Car must have struck him from behind. Oh. Dead button. Yes. <laughs> we can notify next of kin. That's uh, okay. License. Mm, is there any information I can wait? Male. Race. Married. Okay. Let's see. 
Oh my god, it's two dollars. Okay. That's all I could do there in the ball, right? Okay, let's check the right side. Uh, fire and life. Dear President, it is with great pleasure that we acknowledge the receipt of your application and pre-approval has been granted to raise weekly premium of your life insurance policy from 3.70 per week to 5.70. The raise you can... Uh, where our standard veteran uh, care policy... Uh, the event, your death permanent... Oh. Oh, a sum of 16,000. What That's the fuck? Life insurance. Okay, so I already know the killer. So his wife is like, damn, I want some money. I hate my husband. I'll I'll give you two thousand over there if you kill my man, and I get sixteen thousand. Okay, see that's how I would do it. Case closed. Am I right, gamers? Gamers, fellow gamers. Why am I checking his face? So weirdly. Okay, so. It is for the life insurance, right? They just raised it by, like, from ten thousand to sixteen thousand. The wife would get after he died. Mm, I don't think there's anything to see here. Okay, maybe it's left arm. There's no wedding ring, though. He was married, right? So that means... He was on bad terms with his wife! There's no ring here, right? No! Interesting. Okay, so he was married, but... Is there anything else I can check? No, okay. What have you got on the victim? From all reports, he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. Mm -hmm. I'll know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. Definitely. The chest wound? Isn't that inconsistent? Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent hood ornament. Those things are killers. Okay, so uh, something like a Rolls Royce or something, right? Like that can like impale somebody. Careful where you step, it helps. I don't come down to the station house and tap dance on your desk. Shut up. He got dragged. Body traveled a good twenty feet. Like that was, oh yeah. So so the car didn't try to stop. That's for sure. Well, we saw the evidence, but yeah. Okay. So that's clear that the car doesn't did not want to stop. This blood is a long way from the body. The car must have been going like a bat out of hell. Yes. That's because of the bee here. Bad out of hell. They know my dialogue. Damn it. Oh, he did try to stop. Find anything interesting? So the driver managed to break before the impact. Interesting. So he did try to break. Huh. Okay, I think I got all clues, right? So the, the blood, the blood. The tires, the head, the body. Okay, let's go talk to the lady. She's all yours, detective. Hmm, hello. Miss Perry? Yes? I'm yes. Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. Eyewitness. Can you tell us what happened? Well, is I it the came to wife? the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. Oh, she has such a nice accent. Argument over her. Well, I th there's no need to lie about that, right? Then what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. Okay. What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. That was correct, right? It was dark red. I don't know if it's a Lincoln Continental, but... Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. Three, C, eight. Nice. Hey, look at this. I'm on a, I'm on a streak. 
I'm on a kill streak. Well, that as well, probably, with my hit and runs. Tell me more about the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman. That's all. A man and a woman. Probably his wife, right? Go on. Then a third person. Another man got Oh, one. the mistress. No, fuck! You, Your information has been very helpful. Why was I wrong? Why wouldn't I trust her? I hope you find that driver and put him away. You certainly got away with the dames, Phelps. No! I rest, messed up! Kowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say. Damn it! I'll take the bartender. You work the rest of the room. I want to... I want to start over now. But I can't. That's not how games are supposed to be played perfectly, right? Nobody's perfect. I mean, we do all hit and run sometimes. Use a telephone. Nah, okay. What am I gonna call though? Operator, give me dispatch. Oh, the license plate. Putting you through now. Check it. Check it. Dispatch 1247. How could I help detect? A red, red Lincoln C3. I need to run a partial license plate. Three Charles eight. Cross check possible Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln Continental. Just a moment, detective. Or are we gonna get a name? Make on that license, registered to a William Shelton. Okay. Seven thirty-eight West Temple Street. Temple Street. Thank you. Okay, interesting. Looks like we caught a break on this one. Let's talk to the bartender first. I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Your name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Who is the owner? Who is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take Lorna, Mrs. Patterson, home. Okay. What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. I think he's lying. An argument prior to the accident. So I'll doubt it, right? I'll so doubt what it. What's he doing outside? It's against licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. Esther and Lorna were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. Oh. Oh. I did something good. You lying son of a bitch! Tell me. Do oh. you know the victim? Yeah, Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. I'll believe that. Not one of your favorite customers? Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Was Lester drinking alone? You have a no. nice mustache, he came man. came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. A witness overheard okay. an argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? Huh. There was a third man as well. He must have known that, right? Because... Why was Lorna Patterson in such a hurry to leave? What is going on here? Lorna was pretty upset, so Leroy took her home. Lorna and Leroy are close. They've been talking about opening a new bar. Leroy? Leroy Sabo, the owner. Boom! How long have Lorna and Leroy been talking about this new bar? Uh, who knows? I just served the drinks. I, I already forgot all the names. Look at that smirk on your face. You're lying. Is Leroy really going into business with Lorna? Shit. You sure you're not covering for her? Me and Lorna? That man-eater? I wouldn't last a weekend with her. You're barking up the wrong tree there, partner. Fuck. Oh, God. Yeah, I have nothing to... Sorry. My mistake. I'll doubt it. Bartenders hear all sorts of things. 
Are you going to tell me, or do we have to start playing rough? When Lester was drinking, he treated Lorna yes. like dirt. He gambled away all their money. Lorna pitched Leroy about the bar. I don't know how interested he is. Is Leroy doing well? <laughs> Hell no. The only thing keeping this place afloat are the poker games. Thanks for your help, Lynch. I'm I did good. I'm to sign a statement with the patrolman. Sure, no problem. Um, you get anything out of the regulars? They weren't given too much away. I already forgot all the names. Who's Leroy? Who's Laura? Who's Benny? I and don't know. Was a fan of the love tap. Wait, let's. Who's Lester? I mean, let's see the poker games down the back, right? Poker games? So this is why everybody comes to raids. Something out of the ordinary? No? Okay, so he gambled all the way their money, right? Okay. Well, hey! <laughs> that's, a, that's the road I, talk, I took to come here. Can I take one of these cars? I would be hella nice pulling up in this. <laughs> Let's go! Um... Where do we go? Pattison. Wait, who is Pattison? Shelton? Um... Wait, 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 wait. Let's see clues. So we got the insurance letter. Pattison's corpse. So Pattison, yeah, is the one who died. And then... Between Leroy and Sarah and Laura. Yeah, okay, I'm 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 back on track. I'm back on track. So let's go to Let's go to Wait, Shelton. Who's Shelton then? Let's see. William Shelton. Order of Red Lincoln. Oh! Oh yeah, 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 of course, of course. That's the clue we got. Um I'm so far ahead of myself. I can't even follow myself. Let's go to. Shall we go to Shelton first, or Pattison? I think it's good to. To um, know more of the story and then confront. You know what I mean? Thank you. Yo, this is a hell of nice. Looking police car. So the wife was there when it happened, but then left the scene. You're right. That's pretty unusual behavior.